Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hi, everyone. All right. Welcome to the last tip, um, horror, episode 131 and day 11. All right. So why is horror so cool and also really similar to romance? Um, whereas romance is the literature of hope, um, horror is um, hopelessness. Um, essentially, the character is quote unquote dying uh, by the end. Now, whether that's physically dying, they don't escape the the monster or they are absolutely changed. They will be looking around corners. They will look into shadows. They'll leave their lights on 24 seven. They will never be that innocent, happy go lucky person ever again. Um, and that's, what's great about horror is that it's cathartic for us. It lets us play out certain situations, especially with the tr- stressors that we have in our everyday life. Now, you know, we have so much to think about and so much on our plate. And I think that we're always so busy. We don't even have a chance to really have fun or to really express ourselves and let loose. So when we read horror, it gives us a chance to express emotions, to feel things, um, and even to feel our worst fears, because at least in that sense, they're underneath a sense of control and it allows us to release. So that's why horror is so important. Now, um, the hopelessness of it, and one of the things I want to reiterate as tip number three, is that it does need to have that hopelessness. You know, and there are definitely some um, exceptions out there where, you know, the the hero wins and they're like, yes, I did it, I'm amazing. But that usually actually falls closer to like an action or adventure movie um, instead of the horror genre. So um, when it comes to um, the horror genre, make sure that you give people that hope that that person might survive. But at the end of it, they are going to be changed, whether it's them physically not being there anymore um, or their soul is crushed. You know, there has to be that cinch. It really does have like tragic endings in many ways, um, although we do it through different channels. Sometimes that person might have deserved it and a lot of times that person might not have deserved it. They just literally took the wrong turn, for example, and they ended up, you know, changed forever. Um, now, again, there are exceptions to that and there have been very popular exceptions, you know, and that's probably why we watch them because we want to go through the scares but then feel triumphant. But there has to be that change at the end, you know, and it's going to be, you know, maybe even heartbreaking for you as you write about your characters going through something horrible and then they come out of the side and they're changed forever. Um, But that genre usually does demand that. So y'all, thank you so much. That's tip number three for horror. And um, tomorrow we're going into fantasy. Thank you for joining me on episode 131, day 11. And y'all keep writing because um, if you don't write, then you can't share your story and you've got this. Thanks. See you on the other side. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.